Part 8. We are going to continue with finding the equation of a straight line. You will find this on page 148 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 9 textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Now, let's look at another example of finding the equation. If I just give you the two points and I do not give you the sketch, how do you find the equation of a straight line? Okay. So let's look at an example 11. Find the gradient of the line which join the points 1 and 4 and negative 1 and 1. I'm only asking to find the gradient, not the equation, not the y-intercept. Okay, there is two methods. I can either just draw a sketch, so I basically plot that two points. So it's 1 and 4 and it's negative 1 and 1. And now I can do my previous method. The line's going up, so it will be positive. Then it's delta y, which will be 3, delta x, which will be 2, and that, that will give me an answer of 3 over 2. Okay. Or I can do the other method. And this is the method where I'm to find delta y, I say y2 minus y1. To find delta x, it's x2 minus x1. Now, it's very important that you first, let me just show you, first name your points. Let's call this point 1 and this is point 2. It doesn't matter. This can also be 1 and this can be 2. But if this is point 1, then this will be x1, y1. If this is point 2, this will be x2, y2. And now I basically just do substitution. So in the place of y2, look, I put the 4. In the place of y1, 1. In the place of x2, I put 1. And in the place of x1, I put negative 1. Just remember your brackets. Now I just simplify. So it's 4 minus 1. And this is 1 plus 1 because a negative times a negative is a positive. So 4 minus 1 is 3. And that is 2. And there is my answer. Exactly the same as in method 1. Okay. I want you to do the following. Let's do it like this. Number 1, you can do on method 1. And um, it will be good. Okay. Let's do it like this. Okay. Let's just mark. Number, just number A, I want you to do on both methods. Number B, okay, let's just see, you can do on any method. Number 2, um, let's just see, I'm just going to give you number C. And again, you can do it on any method. Stop the video, and as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. Okay, let's start. Try now 11. Let's start with number 1A. So if I say, and now I'm, I'm just going to need a grid to quickly do that one. So if I say plot the points, now let's first do, let's just write it here. Let's call it method 1. So just take the two points, okay, and we're just going to plot. So it's 0, 0. It's just going to be a positive, and it's going to be 3 and 6. So it's, it's quite down. Let's just undo it. 3 and 6. I think we have to do it more or less like this. Okay. So if I plot the points, okay, let's just number the lines. So 1, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. If I plot the points, it's 0 and 0, and it's 3 and 6. So it's 3 and 6. Now, basically, if I draw that line, I'm just going to get something like this. Okay. Now, if I want to see, okay, I'm just going to mark it in broken lines. So, this will give me, okay, let's just get our pen correct. This is delta y and this is delta x. Okay. So, if I look at the gradient and again, the graph of the gradient, draw a graph and find the gradient of the line. So it's just the gradient. So if I look, this one is going up from left to right. So it's positive. Then delta y over delta x. 
So delta y, let's just see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so delta y, I'm just going to replace it. I'm not going to write it again. So it's going to be positive, and it's 6, and delta x is 1, 2, 3. So 6 divided by 3, and that's 2. Okay, that's method 1. If I want to do it on method 2, and I'm just going to write it here, method 2. Okay, um, I think let's rather do it like this. Um, I'm rather going to do method 2 here at the bottom. So method 2. So basically, um, if I want to find M, it's going to be Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. Now take your two points. What is your two points? Your two points is going to be 0, 0, and it's going to be 3 and 6. Okay, so let's name it. Let's call this point 1, this point 2. So X1, Y1. X2, Y2. Just to help you to substitute, do that. Can we move this? So basically, I'm just going to, in the place of Y2, can you see? That's 6. In the place of Y1, that's 0. In the place of X2, that's 3. In the place of X1, that's 0. Okay, and if I simplify that, that is going to be 6 over 3, and it's going to give me exactly the same answer. So therefore, the gradient will be equal to 2. So it's giving me the same answer. Okay, let's do the other one. And now, just to emphasize this method, we're just going to do it on method 2. Just going to clean everything. We're going to go back to plane. Okay, so basically, we are going. We are still busy with try now. Eleven, and we are going to look at number B. Okay, so in number B, I'm also asking the gradient. Write down your two points. Okay, remember. If I name it, this is point 1, 2. So this is x1, y1, x2, y2. We will do the reverse in the next example. Okay, so to find m, it's y2 minus y1. That's delta y. And to find um, delta x, it's x2 minus x1. Remember, you must start either with the 2s or with the ones. I'll, I'll show you both. You can also say y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2. I'll show you that the answers will be the same. Okay, so in the place of y2, what do I put? 4. In the place of y1, put your bracket, especially if you see a negative. The place of x2, 1. In the place of x1, negative 4. Okay, so or let's do this one also. Y1, it's negative 1. Y2, Y2, it's 4. Um, X1, X1, it's negative 4 minus X2, it's um, 1. Okay, so let's see. This is going to be 4. A negative times a negative is plus. This is going to be 1, a negative times it's plus. Or, this is negative 1, negative 4. This is negative 4, negative 1. So, this is going to give me 5 over 5, which is 1. And let's see this one. Negative 5 over negative 5. A negative divided by a negative is a positive. So, that will also be 1. So, it doesn't matter if you put the the 2's in front or the x in front, it will give you the same answer. You can just not, and I'm just going to show you here, you cannot say, and, and really I'm going to say it in red, you can just not say y2 minus y1 and then x1 minus x2. If you cannot start with 2 and here with 1, that is incorrect. You must either start with the 2's 
or start with the ones. Okay, let's do the final one. We're just going to make space. Okay, so we are still with try now 11. And this is going to be number 2C. And now we will just do it on one method. So um, the points will be negative 4 and negative 3. And it will be 4 and negative 5. Okay, so again, okay, now I'm going to do it. Let's call this 2 and let's call this 1. Doesn't matter. So then this will be x2. Y2, X1, Y1. So if I start with my formula, I'm just going to say M is delta Y over delta X, which is actually meaning Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. Just remember, the Ys must be on top. In the coordinate point, it's first X and then Y. But if you work out the gradient, the Ys must be on top over the x values okay so in the place of y2 can you all see it's negative 3 you can put it in brackets the best in the place of y1 let's just see it's negative 5 put it nicely in let's just re rewrite negative 5 over in the place of x2 it's negative 4 and in the place of x1 it's 4 then it's negative 3 a negative times a negative is plus 5. And this is negative 4, negative 4. And if I simplify, and we're just going to move up a little bit. If I simplify, negative 3, so this is going to be 2. Subtract if the signs are different. Add and keep the signs when the signs are the same. Okay, that will be 8. And that will simplify to negative a quarter. So this gradient will be negative one quarter and that will be my final answer.